You are listening to the Old School Movement Podcast. You understand. Yes, it is another episode of the Old School Movement Podcast. And it's episode 101. 101. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. yeah. And we're back with another episode. How did you guys enjoy that? Did you enjoy guys enjoying last show? Yeah, man. Of course we did, man. Got some jokes. Can't wait to do another hundred. Yeah. If you guys heard the competition we had, we had a little quiz for each of our guests on that show, and there was a little, there was a little pattern in that quiz. And did you guys guess what the pattern was? There was only out of the three contestants we had, only two got it, yeah. one picked it up. And um, what is that? What is that link, Chris? Man, tell him what the link is. All the answers were us guys, man. All, all of the, you know, there was Lucas, Stax, Chris Cross, and Leroy. That was the clue. What did one of them say? I'm guessing um, it's a black guy. So I'm going to guess it's Leroy. <laughs> yeah, I'll go for the black it. man's name. Oh, Leroy. What a guess that was, man. What that was guess. so funny. Yeah, you got four out of four. But we got to give it to one of our top listeners, which, which is Heather, because she got the link. Mm. She got yeah, the link after the four questions. Yeah, yeah. because Heather didn't even know who Giant Haystacks was. So by oh, yeah. that time, never heard of it. She went, hey, <laughs> she'd already picked I've it up. I just heard Chris after Lucas. So this one's got... It's got so, to be yeah. stacks. Yeah, yeah. It's got to be stacks. So that was that was fun. That was fun. Yeah, so and, and great questions, Heather. Great questions. <laughs> yeah, they were good. Great questions. So on to episode 101 of the Old School Podcast. And this one, this one is this one is an interesting one. Because for some movies we became close to characters and we invested in a character only to see them just die. Mm. So this podcast, ladies and gentlemen, is our saddest old school deaths in TV and films. Oh, damn. Um, oh, wow. Many films. Many films. Um, we're going to have to dip so, a bit into the 90s here as well. Yeah, so we're going to, yeah, that, yeah. So it's old school. It's going to dip into films from the 90s, from the 80s, and just go through sad moments in films. Like, now people are desensitized <laughs> to that. Check Game of yeah. Thrones. People yeah, die every yeah. week. <laughs> like, you see a character, you think he's, you think he's the main character, and he's yeah. finished. He's two episodes. <laughs> yeah. Big name actor, gone. But, um, you know, so so it, ain't, it didn't have the same effect as it did back then. Before you start, uh, Basil Rathbone voice, Sherlock Holmes. Elementary, my dear DL. <laughs> this is a brilliant one, so I can't wait. <laughs> right. BBC Two on Fridays. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> the Radio Times. <laughs> All right. So let's go back to ni- 1991. Right. So everybody loved. Everybody loved the Terminator. First movie that came out. Then Terminator Two comes out in 1991. Brilliant film. Brilliant effects. You know, things are blowing up. Explosions. So on and so forth. They get rid of the T1000, the Liquid Man. He's gone. But everything belonging to Cybernet has to go. Has to go. Everything yeah. has to disappear. Yeah. Even the Terminator himself. Oh man. Arnie has to sacrifice his robot self to save the world from discovering the evil that are robots. He didn't do that one well though, did he? <laughs> right now in life. Yeah, no. <laughs> this stuff is happening. <laughs> no, but in film world in 1991, did that hit you guys? Of course Arnie it did, man. sacrificing his life. Of course it did. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. John John Connor crying. Don't go. Pleading. I command you. Pleading with Don't him, go. Don't yeah, go. Man. Don't go. I can't. That that hurt. That hurt. It was sad. Yeah, it was sad. It was man. sad. It was sad for me right up until the thumbs up bit. <laughs> the thumbs up, yeah. And then I thought, hold on, hold on, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be horrible now. This is the Terminator. Yeah. You don't give the thumbs up. But no, it was... I'm dabby dozy, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> no, but, you know, John did teach him... You know, John did teach him some cool things. You know what That's I mean? Yeah. High fives. Yeah. Esther La Fiesta, true, baby. True, true, true. How to steal... You know, he, he was teaching him all those things. So the thumbs up, you know, it was, you know, it was yeah, one of those. Yeah, no, it was, it was a sad time to see see the T-800 destroyed it was, forever. It was, it was all for the good of humanity. So it had to happen. Yeah, it had to happen. 
true. It's true. It's I like true. that, Stacks. I like that. I say, you got to give it to that character because he started off as probably one of the best villains in T1 mm. to becoming sort of a hero in T2. So that, yeah. you know, mm. it's good how they, how, how around, James Cameron and, yeah. they, and they've done that. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah. 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 You feel empathy for a robot. Yeah. yeah. Which, yeah. You, which you were scared true. of in the first one, man. That was like, you know, that thing coming after you. It, it was, was relentless. Yeah. So, so yeah. quickly, guys, at a, at a, at a, at a, at a in a scale of one to five, how sad was that, Leroy? One to five. Um, I'll give it three. Chris, no, I was gonna go four. Stacks, I'm gonna give it a two. Yeah. All right. All yeah. Right. Yeah. I'll probably yeah. give it a three. All right. So that's Terminator. Sad deaths. Liquid melted. So our next one. We're staying in the nineties. We're in 1994 now, and now cartoons are emotional too man and it's like everybody cried when bambi's mum died like that's like the, <laughs> the highlight of the original, disney's the original saddest yeah. moment <laughs> um I, I can't remember being sad at that no uh, no i can't either no i didn't i wasn't i think bambi's the most the most spoiler alert cartoon ever because yeah. whenever people talk about bambi that's what they say yeah his mum yeah. died <laughs> his mum died yeah <laughs> how are you starting <laughs> The, the story of the film of the cartoon like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'll be honest with you, I don't remember anything else of the film. No, no, that's the only bit I remember. Exactly, because it's just a nuts one. But anyway, Disney, 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 Disney didn't do that, didn't do that sad thing again until 1994. Uh, that's in The Lion King. Oh my God. Oh, this yeah. is quite early. Uh, Leroy's already in tears. Get the Kleenex yeah. out. Yeah. Get the awesome, Kleenex man. out for Leroy. Oh my God. <laughs> Leroy is already in tears. Yeah. This is an evil brother wanting to get rid of mm. another brother. Yeah. This is lion against lion. It's God, the O'Hara of the jungle. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this is, this is, this is, this is, what is this, Chris? This is, what do you mean? <laughs> this is, this is heartbreaking. I'm like crying. I don't think I can talk anymore, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you know i was like you know hitting 20 when this came out so i weren't affected too much but it was sad and mm. i know like the manelli was out there like this one's gonna hit hard man i know they, they got upset by this man the younger lot but also like you know they they did you see the cgi version only a few years ago it is like the yeah. what's meant to be the live one that one i thought you haven't it, even told him what's happened yet chris the death of me fast i <laughs> yeah, spoke yeah. about this already i no. saw it, yeah that when scar kills um Mufasa in it he could save him but night lets him go and he drops into the stampede of wildebeest stampede. Scar kills Mufasa Leroy Leroy tell us your pain the pain oh my gosh the pain it was it was gut-wrenching man because once again you think okay he's gonna you know just about make it you know he saves Simba and he just about makes it and then Scar, the son of a bleep, 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 <laughs> kills Mufasa. Yeah. Oh yeah. my God. You're feeling, you're feeling it for Simba though, isn't it? You've really yeah, feel it's it. Simba, yeah, it's Simba because he's all alone because yeah. prior to that, you know, Mufasa's telling him, Showing him teaching about him. the way of life. Don't mm. go down there because the hyenas are there and you know what I mean? Circle of life. Plays in some Elton John records. <laughs> yeah. 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 And that's like, Listen. it's just like 10 minutes in film. Yeah, right? it's at the start, isn't it? You're sad straight away, like, from watching Sad, that. but then Scar goes, kill him. You know, the hyenas to kill mm. Simba, so you can't even really, you know what I mean? Process, sister. Yeah. The you're process still wiping your eyes. Like... <laughs> and now he's sent for his nephew to get slaughtered by, by yeah, hyenas. Yeah. And this is a Disney cartoon. Yeah, like, during that time, Scar's meant to have eaten Mufasa. Because later on in, in it, when Zazu, the little bird thing, is chatting with Scar, he's playing with Mufasa's skull, where what he's got left, like a trophy of it. Really? Yeah. It's, it's, well, it's deep, man. It's too deep, in it? It's nah, deep, it's deep. That's to be a kid's cartoon. No, nah, but that, that's why they don't, you don't see none of that. But if you watch it, ever see it again, you'll see him with the skull of a massive, like a big, you know, lion skull. So it said that, yeah, it's when he sent zebra. when he sent them lot off to, to chase him and kill him, he he ate up fucking his he brother. He his brother? <laughs> yeah. But which which what? is known. <laughs> Apparently it's known in, in the wild, in real life, that that could happen. A lion would eat another relative lion if it was dead and it was that hungry it would eat it it wouldn't feel I too know, 
I know like lions, like male lions, when they move into a they tribe, kill the young. They kill the young, yeah. yeah. I, don't I, don't eat. eating, eat, mm. I don't know about eating another one. Cannibals? Hmm. Mm. Oh, well. That's a, a, I watched enough wildlife. I've never heard of cannibal yes. lions. Yeah. <laughs> this must be some 80s B movie, man. Google it, man. Google it. It's, it's been, this must be by a guy called Dis Nasty or something. It's like, <laughs> it's like uh, Disney. <laughs> this is a B horror, man. <laughs> so, yeah, heart wrenching. And the thing, cartoon character, first time seeing the characters, I say first 15 minutes, it kicks in raw. Mm -hmm. And they soften the blow with nice <laughs> sing-alongs for the rest of it. Yeah, and you forget, musical. You forget the extreme yeah, you, yeah. of like, you know, yeah. what one of your nephew getting killed by hyenas and killing your brother, and then as Chris just now said, turning cannibal. Munching. But, um, <laughs> Definitely a, a sad moment, man. Mm. In, in that is moment. a cartoon sad cinema. Cartoon viewing. like it like like the build up. You know, you know when you know that's gonna mm. happen. Mm. Yeah. And you hear yeah. the herd of builder, but come on, man, that, that, that's, that was that was hard. Wrong. That's a bit the sort of same with Aslan in Lion Witch in the Wardrobe. You know it's coming, yeah. even though he comes yeah, back, yeah, doesn't he? He comes, comes back, back to life. But, but that, that yeah, was that a sad scene, isn't it? Aslan, yeah. yeah. He's got a lie on the slab and they shave his fur. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. Yeah, I didn't like that. No, I didn't like that, man. I didn't like it. I didn't it. like that. <laughs> he looked horrible about the first. <laughs> I used to watch Lion Witch in the Wardrobe cartoon. Here comes a new challenger, and it's a lion too. Yeah. Like, yeah. I didn't like that bit. He's the freak. I didn't with like the that. Fair. Yeah. He like, and like, yeah. Yeah, he's a mighty king of the jungle, yeah. but he had yeah. to take that, innit? It's like, no, you don't. He got bullied by like, <laughs> by like elves and yeah. people with hoops and furry legs. It was horrible. <laughs> Human bodies. Yeah. yeah. I remember that. I remember that. Oh, it was a sad scene. <laughs> so, yeah. So, sorry, you know. So <laughs> sad for the lions. Sad for the lions. So, that's the Kings, man. So, you know, yes, Aslam, it was sad, but it's not on the list because he came back. But Mus... 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 What's his name again? Mufasa. 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 Why I say Mustafa? I know. <laughs> that's the kebab shop owner down the road. <laughs> <laughs> Mufasa didn't come back. So, guys... <laughs> So guys, what's, your, what's your ratings for so what's the your King of the drink, Jungle? What's your heart string, Paul, man? Out of five. I've got to go four. I'm going to go a four because it was hard hitting, but I was quite old watching it. So I weren't too affected, but you can yeah, see yeah, how yeah. that is quite sad. So I'm going to have to say a four as yeah. well. I'm going to go Zach. three. I'm going to go three on that. You're going to go three. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go five because that, Ooh. as I said, the build up. If, I, if I'm already... Cheer, getting getting teary at the build up. <laughs> <laughs> That's a five. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so you know we talked about lies now to another animal. Well, a character with an animal's name. Um, and Chris, this hit you hard. Who is who is who? Who we got for the next one? This is Goose out of Top Gun, man. This was you didn't see this coming in the film, man. This is you know the wingman of of, of Maverick. You weren't expecting to lose him during like you know halfway through the film sort of thing so mm. yeah it was this it, it was quite a um quite a shocking death in the 80s i think losing goose in top gun i can see leroy's face is puzzled leroy did you see what top gun <laughs> none of you don't watch top gun i, don't yeah, think. I didn't watch top gun <laughs> I, I saw it that's why chris is introducing him <laughs> this is the thing this may has come as a surprise and a big surprise bigger than what comes out of sport billy's bag but i have not seen <laughs> top gun man yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't. I I didn't see it until two years ago, mm. j just so I could understand the second one. Yeah, I saw it back in the day, but I I didn't no. really. I wasn't that interested in it. But I yeah, saw it a long, it was a long, only, long um, The only yeah, thing associated was the, the the soundtrack. Take Take My Breath Away. Yeah, and, and mm. that's and that's why I didn't watch it. Like, There's a lot lot better tunes. <laughs> than I went that. on soundtracks in the eighties. If the soundtrack weren't good, I ain't watching the movie. The soundtrack's good, but not that tune. But the soundtrack's that, got that, some good tunes on it. All I do was take my breath away, and I, was, <laughs> That's, I can't. That was it, and I was like, I'm not watching that. <laughs> I can't. Like, but you know, in the 80s, when they played the tune, they show clips of the film, yeah. and I just yes. associated the film with that exactly. yeah. yeah, I don't know why they showed that, that man as tune. well. Because that's like a, one little love scene that gets played. No other time. The rest of it is like Kenny Loggins stuff and, you know, yeah. good shit, like, like how Huey Lewis does. Yeah, yeah. Does I, thingy. I like, they but had Kenny... Was, it, and it, it was yeah. too much. No, nah, it's a it is a good couldn't. soundtrack, but not yeah. That tune does. Yeah, that's a fast forward moment. Definitely, I don't need to be seeing this bit. Get back to the <laughs> yeah. flying. Get back to the action. I liked plane films back in the eighties. You know the Iron Eagles, and I liked anything that was 
that was plane related and, and flying. So yeah, yeah. pulled the old asterisks. The yeah, goose was, a sad one. was to roost in 1986. <laughs> his top goal. They they done good justice how they've done it in Maverick, bringing his son back in the same sort of role. I thought that was oh, really okay. good. Good touch. Okay. Uh, okay. Maverick looks good though. Maverick Maverick's yeah. a good film, man. Yeah, really good film. Yeah, man. I'll have a look at that. So Chris, you, you, mm. you'll score you'll score this on your Todd. So <laughs> out of, out of five to one. What's your, what's your emotion? It'd be about a four for me. What's your emotion? <laughs> All right, so four. Our next one, our next one. This this, this, this movie here, it's an old movie. It was made before we were all born, but it's from a legend that we all love. This is probably the first time I've seen a death of a hero in a movie. Bruce Lee's The Fist of Fury, known in the US as The Chinese Connection, um, and other known as Jing Wu Men. So, okay. have any of you guys seen The Fist of Fury? Yeah, it's one of my favourites, man. Leroy? Definitely. I've seen it, but I vaguely remember, remember it. Oh, vaguely. It's wicked, man. Okay, well, Fist of Fury is one of Bruce Lee's classics, right, Chris? Mm, it's one of... Yeah. It's, it's, it's an amazing movie. Yeah, it's and his wicked. character, as I said, is... It's, Chen. There's, yeah, there's Chen. Yeah, there's, there's tension between the Japanese and Chinese. Mm. And there's a, you know... It's the, it's, 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 the, it's the same old, you know, you kill my master type thing. Yeah. But yeah. it was a gripping story. Their school versus their school sort of yeah. thing, innit? They smash school up each other's school. school. Yeah, it's one of the classic story, man. Classic stories, but yeah. it's Bruce Lee in his finest. Yeah. yeah. And um, because of all the killings he, he went about doing through the film, for vengeance, the police were waiting outside for him. Mm. Um, and if you guys haven't seen it, I, it's like... I, 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 I'm going to give away the film. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to say <laughs> the end now, but yeah, we're going to Yeah, I don't want to say the end, but <laughs> if, 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 anyone's, if anyone's seen Fist of Fury, you'll understand um, why it's in this list. And now, I can't even say the end now, but I'm going to spoil it for these two. <laughs> <laughs> say it, man. Say it. Say it. Say you could say it. You could say it. You, you don't it. see a death. You don't see any don't, death. But exactly. He comes to the doorway and they're like, hey, hey the police are here to get you. And so he's, he's like, you know, ready to take take himself in but rather than yeah. do that he just looks at him does one of them Bruce Lee faces and just charges at him and then it ends oh, like with I him think I with a jump, that. Like jumping through the gates at all these people with guns and machine guns and obviously yeah. I, I've only recently looked at it and thought shit like he, he wouldn't have made that but yeah. when I watched it <laughs> when I watched it in the 80s I thought no I had it done I never thought he died like I never no, thought, nah, nah, he would have kicked them lot man he would have done them but no. watching it now he, there was no way out of that yeah I thought it like I knew he was dead, and like as you said, Chris, you see all the police bent Already, down, standing yeah. up, yeah, yeah, firing squad. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I just wow. took him out. I remember that bit now. It, it's a yeah, wicked yeah. movie, man. This is one of my yeah. first heroes of, of, yeah. of cinema, and to see his character just die at the end is just mm. like what? <laughs> you know, <laughs> like there's no part two. <laughs> that's uh, it. So yeah, that that hit me, and that's another film that when it builds up, and I know what's going to happen. It's um Did you yeah. know? Did you know it was gonna happen? Did you no. just hear the whole build up? We didn't yeah. know it was gonna happen. No, you didn't oh. you didn't know oh, you right. thought you know you thought he'd go back to his school or maybe move town or something and it, it, it'll it, it, quiet it was, down but... but throughout the whole film this guy's beating up people. He's you know, he's the hero. He's like yeah. making people eat paper. Next time you'll be eating glass. <laughs> 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 There's a scene. Do you remember that scene? Like, there's a scene where it says Chinese out or something. Yeah. Up, a, up on the school. A, a wooden he, plank thing that he gets. Yeah. He takes yeah. it down. Yeah. He takes it down and makes the <laughs> makes the owner the 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 guy eat it. Who looks like Lino actually. Yeah. Like big orange hair. It's yeah. like <laughs> yeah. got the classic hair. actors in it. Isn't it? You see yeah, him in a few. In a yeah. few of them kung fu films. Classic voiceovers. You know the yeah. same voiceover guys that must have voiced every kung fu film. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Some old. British guys just, just they got they own stuff. I would love to get them on the podcast. Yeah, just yeah, around. The that guys be, that dubbed that'd be amazing. those Kung Fu Dumps films. Of Kung Fu they, sound, films yeah. they sound like they used to work on 40 Towers or something. <laughs> just, yeah, you, there's a, there's some master. films that need dubbing. But um they do you know if you separate the voices from the character, that voice wouldn't come out of that character. Yeah. No, of course yeah. not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it goes with it. It goes with but it, it when you're but somehow 
it, it, also, what they're saying wouldn't go yeah. with it either. Yeah. Because the direct right. translation yeah. ain't yeah. correct. But, but, it, it but what works. I mean is like, the voices, the voiceover people sound like they're in their 50s. Yeah. yeah. And the characters yeah, like true. teenagers yeah, yeah, who are in their 20s. And true. they're like old men talking like that. <laughs> Stand like, next to a fireplace <laughs> with a pipe. He's 16, he ain't got a deep voice. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard. Yeah. It's just <laughs> killed by but, master. But, it, but, <laughs> but we it's just true. adapted to the Kung Fu dubbers, yeah. kids, didn't it? We didn't, yeah. Yeah. We didn't question the, the voice. Fu, well, there's one friend, we were talking about this, and he told me that in his country, there's one man that dubs everything. They've only got one translator mm. for t like TV. So whatever you watch, whether it be a, a female actress, it'll be this man talking. Yeah. It, for every, <laughs> every film, everything that's translated, it's, it's just one voice. So yeah. they yeah. never get to know these different voices. Whereas, you know, like like you're saying, they, them voices don't match them, but yeah. they're different voices, oh. in it? They still, yeah. you still know, yeah. oh, that's that guy, that's that guy from The Voice. Yeah. Like, having one man, oh, that would yeah. be crazy. As long as you hear, okay, well then fight me. Yeah. As long as you hear that, <laughs> everyone has to know how to say that. As long as you yeah. can say yeah. that, I, I think you've got the job. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've got the job. If you could, if you could go... <laughs> <laughs> as long as you can do that, I think you got the job. Like we would have smashed it in the seventies, man. True. The amount of work we would have got. <laughs> Mate. Oh, yeah, oh. if I go back to the seventies, I'll be I'll be doing dubbing for Kung Fu's, mate. Not about you lot. Oh, no. I'd like to do that as well. That would be a great Christian job. Yeah, fantastic <laughs> job. That doesn't number. happen now. Like, when no. was the cutoff date for for dubbing? For dubbing, for those, stop it, isn't it? The for those date. old dudes. Those old English dudes dubbing every kung fu film. That's from next week. How many kung fu films were out? Yeah, thousands. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Thousands. Yeah. Wow. Man. We got to find one, man. We got to find one. Got to. Yeah, we got to watch. We got to watch one of these old school. We'll have to have a look. So have a look, you guys, on Amazon mute, um, video at the moment. There's loads of good old dub kung fu and Fist of Fury's on next. I watched it not long ago. So yeah, yeah. There, there's some low, all them snake in a monkey the shadow. Death. They're all on there. There's Love loads, man. man. So yeah. yeah. Find some names. We're trying to contact some dub, <laughs> some voice actors. So, <laughs> so Leroy Stacks, you ain't seen this movie. So I'm going to give it a five. This is a five for the, um, well, yeah. for the, for the, for the heartstring rating. You give it a five yeah, as well. Five okay? as well, man. Yeah, I can imagine it's pretty, pretty sad. So I might it's sad. slide four. In yeah, here. I'm going to have a look. <laughs> you guys ain't seen it. I, 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 I vaguely have. remember it. I vaguely remember it. We I'll described it well. He's pictured it. There's no yeah. probably have. You've seen it. There's no sit on the bit. I probably <laughs> have. <laughs> Come out of here, man. Listen, let's move on to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so. Those ones there, they were just they were just our warm up acts, man. Because we're gonna go through our top five uh, saddest movie deaths. These are the real heartstring pullers. These are the these are the why did it happen? These are damn already. These are the, I wasn't expecting that. These are it's still hurting me today. So <laughs> <laughs> coming in, coming in at number five. Hey, South Central LA is a hard place to live in especially if you have a career, upcoming career as a college football player <laughs> and your brother is a gangbanger and you get caught Ooh, up the wrong middle. place at the wrong yeah. time buying a lottery Ricky. ticket. Ricky. 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 1991. Guys. I don't know. He just got guys, shot. Guys, guys, guys. Yeah. Now, how are you guys feeling about that, man? It was a sad moment, man. I was. It's a build. It's a bad build up for me. It is. Again. It is. It is. I always say, hold on. Like, who splits up in a chase? You always stay together in it. Why would you split up? You go that way. I'll go that way. Split up. You split up, and then halfway <laughs> through the chase, you think, let me just check my scratch card. Let Let me just see if I've won anything on the lottery while I'm getting chased and could get shot. I'm gonna stop and check the lottery ticket. Look, like, who does that? You're getting yeah. chased, man. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. We. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stop. I forget something to to, to drink. Yeah. Why would you do that, Ricky? <laughs> why? Why? Ricky? Why, or why? Why would you do that? You'll be playing why? football now if you were still here. Yeah. Yeah. Great jungle tune. Yeah, jungle yeah. tune is good. Ricky, what happened to Ricky? I don't know. He just <laughs> got shot. shot. It was yeah. dumb. You split up that way, and I, and I was split up that way. Yeah, yeah. It, it 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 was it was the start. It was the start of those. Those 1991 movies where, yeah. where it was drive like, bys. Yeah, that yeah. was that was the theme of the film, innit? Someone yeah. had to get shot. 
But, yeah. you know, because this was the pinnacle of it. It's always the one that's got a future, isn't it? Yeah, it's always that one. Exactly. Always that, yeah. This character always, wasn't yeah. nothing to do with that. And he even had, even qualified, he even got he through know, to the though. college he needed to go. Yeah. He, wanted, yeah. he wanted to go through his moment. And that was just all the saxophones yeah. playing in the background. It's all it's emotional. Like, she was opening the results or something, wasn't <laughs> yeah, she? When, that's when it. He, yeah, that's it. He didn't even know. He didn't, he didn't even, even know he played it. Oh, he, he got lucky on a lottery ticket. Yeah, yeah, a nice lolly. He got lucky on the lottery ticket. It was all happening for him. It was all, it was all happening yeah. for all for it to end. 12 gauge in the back. Yeah, no. What was so funny is that they brought Ricky's dead body and laid it on the sofa <laughs> like he's just going to walk. Just yeah. jump up. I'm all right. I'm fine. <laughs> it had covers on it, though, man. It's all right. It, it it's was right, yeah. Plastic covers. Plastic what? covers. Ready, ready. Wipe that straight off. Just in case you bring a dead body <laughs> home. Yeah. In case someone's bleeding heavily. <laughs> yeah. Gag bag. Like, yeah, the magic couch. <laughs> <laughs> That's a sad scene, but a great movie, Sad man. scene. Ricky, yeah. Ricky, the demise of Ricky in Boys <laughs> in the Hood. Okay, so another sad, another sad movie, another sad movie, another sad movie. I said that three times because this is the Al Pacino scene. Al Pacino picks his moments to die. He picks his moments to kill people. And the two scenes that he died in really messed me up. One was like, when is he going to die? <laughs> oh, okay. And the other was, I didn't see that happening. <laughs> so let's start it off. First one is obviously the cocaine crashing nutter that is Scarface. <laughs> Don't even um, down, huh? He's so high that he doesn't feel bullets by the end of the film. The guy is so <laughs> high that there's a squad of gorillas shooting at him and he's still giving it He some. thinks they're bouncing off him, he, yeah. He, he, he <laughs> thinks he's made of alimentium. He thinks he's this super This guy is indestructible <laughs> for a good 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, remember that mountain that he snorted it, it, yeah. back in his office? So it uh, was that's, yeah, that's, it was that that kept him going for a good for a hot minute. It all started, which he was right, but it all mm. started when he was supposed to kill some um some dude in Paris or something, remember? in Italy. Mm. And the bomb was underneath the car and it was to be close enough to the car so he can press the button and blow up the car mm. and so he wouldn't go on TV and spread all their rumors about the cocaine mm. ring. But there was kids in the car. And he has strict rules. He doesn't, yeah. no women or children, okay? He doesn't <laughs> kill women or children. Yeah, yeah, he wasn't going to yeah, do it. It's true, it's true. So he shot the guy in the head and he messed up the whole operation. Yeah. So that's, mm. for me, that's why it pulled the heartstrings. Because he did, mm. the, I guess he's a criminal, but he mm. did the right thing there. The right thing for there, doing yeah. the right thing. Bit him. Yeah. Bit him. He got shot by the guy with the black shades and the hammer. He crept up behind the... him, innit? Then he creeped yeah. up behind while he was on the balcony, still yeah. shooting. Yeah. He everyone. was like the Boba yeah. Fett of Scarface. Yeah. He never spoke. Yeah, yeah. He just heart held his gun. You didn't see his face. Yeah. The skull was his name, I think, nickname, wasn't it? The skull was yeah. one, of the, one of the top hanging man out of air, hanging man out of helicopters and stuff. Look. <laughs> he just he just dealt with his thing. He just dealt with it. Quietly. The world is yours. One of one of his henchmen looked like Bruno Mars. Watch it back again. <laughs> <laughs> one of Scarface's henchmen. There's a short one yeah, with a hat. No, you're right. Look you're at right. it again. <laughs> don't believe me, but, just watch. You'll see uh, it. Don't believe me. It's, <laughs> but, 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 it's when it. he shot his guy. You know, the, you know the guy that um got married to his sister? Yeah. That was yeah. sad. Yeah, that was sad. Yeah, yeah, that was sad. Mm -hmm. That was sad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Here comes a new challenger. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> he was a good character. He was Manny. I liked Manny. him, man. Yeah. And they were just Manny. telling... Yeah, they were going to just tell the good news, tell him the good news, but yeah. my man went, Tony weren't having it. Tony weren't having it. He was, Tony just wasn't he was having it. Up. He wasn't having it. <laughs> yeah. Bullets, nothing. Bullets, best friend. He's not <laughs> having it that night. <laughs> but, um, all right. So, so, yeah. So, that was, that was, that was Brian his DeFire's first film, Scarface, with, yeah, Al Pacino, his first death. Now, moving on. So, that was 1983. Ten years later, 1993, Carlito's Way comes about. Carlito's Way again. He, uh, he was Hispanic. He just come out of prison. He wanted to mm. stay on a straight and narrow, but mm. he got offered a few moves to do slight and he got back into the business, man. Back. Just back there. Thou, <laughs> thou, What you got? So he was back <laughs> in the business and he wanted to leave like they all do. You know, remember he booked the train you know, his mm. missus was pregnant. Then we're yeah. going to go to Casablanca or, or somewhere. Caribbean. They were, no, I think they were going to go Caribbean. somewhere. <laughs> Love the life. He saw the picture of the Caribbean. <laughs> yeah. That's it. He just that's dreamed it. that's where I'm going. They were going to mm. go somewhere. And mm. 
you know, he's running, he, you know, he deals with, remember, remember the bit at the train station, all the mafia dudes are looking for him, he shoots a couple, he gets away, it's yeah, all yeah, good, he sees his misses, he's just about to get on the train, and yeah. Billy Branco from the Bronx turns Hey, remember me? <laughs> Billy yeah. Branco from the Bronx. Oh my yeah, God. And that guy, and that guy looks like a human warthog. The other guy that worked with Carlito, <laughs> who's next to him, who, who, who snitched, he got shot after. Yeah. So that was good. But to see, <laughs> you know the guy I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> so Carlito, Carlito perished just at, just, he was right. just about to get on that train. Yeah. So close to freedom. Oh yeah. my God. So close. He, ha he, hands, he hands the woman a big wad of cash in it. Like you go, just leave me now. You yeah, carry on with it. it. Mm. It was oh, sad. It, it was, was sad, sad, man. That was sad. Was sad that ended. was sad. It was sad. Yeah. And it, 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 it was a yeah. good film. It's a good film. And, and I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting nah. that. Nah. Um, nah, I You weren't expecting Benny Blanco anyway. If, you to know, come back. What's gonna and, happen. And, and again, that situation again. Why didn't you kill him when you had to <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's his own like confidence do... again. But, but he did the right thing at yeah. that time. You know, yeah, and, and that's the moral of the story in these films. You know, what sometimes what you what you do is right comes back to bite you. Yeah, you know, so yeah. that pulled the heartstring collie as well. But then the tables turned. He was the killer, and in um, <laughs> two in in 1995, amazing movie directed by Michael film. Mann, the creator of Miami Vice. He created a film called Heat. It's about the L.A. Um, robbers you know yeah. one minute and you clear out the whole bank um, Robert De Niro one side Al Pacino the other side they were against each other for a while during the film and at the end one had to go and again yeah. if De Niro yeah. didn't go back for that guy look at me oh. look at me and if he didn't go back to that hotel <laughs> to get rid of that guy yeah. he would have been plain sailing with his missus sailing you yeah. idiot yeah. he went back Pacino caught up with him Wah! <laughs> Chased him out to the robbery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Idiot. So man. guys, so we said Scarface had colleague as well. We've had Heat. Which one pulled your heartstrings the most? That's the saddest death. Heat for me. Yeah, so Heat. This is a hard one because Heat was you, yeah. you. You like both of them two characters, isn't it? One is the cop. One is the criminal. Would you have minded if yeah. Al Pacino's character got killed instead in Heat? Uh, not really, probably no, not. Because I didn't want none of them. No, nah, you don't want either of them. But I think I got a more of a built up more of a relationship in the film with De Niro's character. De Niro, mm. yeah. See, it De was sad that they, you wanted him to was, get away. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and you already knew, like when they when they sold this film before they but when they were making it, it was always you're going to see these two on screen for the first mm. time, sort of. And that was mm. it was that end scene that mm. you know you knew something. One of them's got to go. Yeah. I didn't want either of them to I go, did either. Man. I did either. Mm. Mm. It's it's true, true, true. It's a sad one, man. I just wanted that Hollywood ending. Carlito's way, I think, for me. Yeah. But yeah, he was just so close to freedom, man. Yeah. Mm. Well, they both were. Yeah. yeah both yeah, of those yeah, last yeah, two films. Yeah, they last two were. Yeah, 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 same scenarios. scenarios. Both, you know, they miss his way for them. You yeah. know, you know that bit when, when, when in Heat, when he says, you know, I was going to about to say, mustn't pause, mustn't hesitate. Hey, mallet, mallet. But <laughs> just like along the lines where <laughs> if the heat comes on you, you, you you've got to, you've got to get out. You got and to get out. And yeah. as you remember the scene where he looks at his missus and just runs on, yeah. yeah, he didn't want to get her involved, and that meant it's I'm done. Yeah, yeah he yeah, says early yeah, on he's got yeah. he's got a mantra that he lives to, and it's don't let yourself get attached to anything if you're mm. not walking to walk out within thirty seconds if the heat is yes. around the corner. There, there you go. The which That's is why the, the film is called Heat, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's exactly it's that. Yeah, it's yeah, all that, yeah. man. See, I'm, I'd probably go De Niro out of them three. Yeah, you're saying De Niro stacks. You're saying Carlito. I'm saying Carlito, man. Heat for me. Yeah, De Niro. Heat, as well. I'm, I'm saying. Whew. Well, yeah, I it was close. It's though. a close, close. It's a close. But I'm probably saying it's, it's close. I'm probably saying Carlito's way. Just be, yeah, it's a hard one. It's a hard one. Hard. But and they're all really good films yeah all you know. of them three are top but you know what here comes a new challenger uh -oh. just thinking of those movies there in the 90s two massive war films came out and two massive leaders led the way in these two films two it was like the spartacus of our generation the ben-hur of our generation mm. and those two films are gladiator and braveheart 
Now, oh my god. Both both gladiators, both heroes, both you know Gladiators sad. Guys you know, sad. Ended, you know, yeah, perished, perished by the end of the film. Because you you were really invested in, in these characters. You fought with them. You were on the battlefield. You were on the horses. Yeah, you helped yeah, the sword. Yeah. You put yeah. your hand in the sand too. But yeah, um, yeah. you wore them sandals. <laughs> yeah, you felt the sa- sand in your toes when you're in the sandals. Yeah. Um, but which one was more heartbreaking? Ooh. Gladiator Ooh. or Braveheart? The thing is, I've watched those... I've rinsed and repeated those films, both films, man. <laughs> Are you not entertained? Freedom! Don't you guys man. notice that for me, both of those films, all of those films, by, you know, they're long. So mm. by the last 45 minutes, they start to like go a bit. Yeah. You, you can be distracted. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, because when you watch them again, you go, oh, yeah, I'll. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah bit. but there's, there's bits in the yeah. first hour and a half that you know, like yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but then yeah, there's a bit yeah. of you, you know, there's not kind enough of fade light away in the it, film, it. and it's yeah. it's just a fire glaring on the side of their face scenes. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah. So which is them. more? Which one was I'm more? Going Max- you know what? Going Maximus. You know what? I'm going Maximus Decimus Meridius. Mm, too. Because he was cheating. He was cheating. He was cheating. That was sad. Yeah, that was yeah. At the end, man, he drifts Because off. of the way, he, and he didn't get to see his wife. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going. But they met him. up again after. You know, it, it, it got that illusion in it. He sees yeah, him walking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel like he's just going to him, sort of. It's, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah sad. That, was a, that was a sad film, that at the end. With William Wallace, it was more, I've done what I've had to do. Yeah. Freedom. You're not going to get me to say anything else, <laughs> but freedom. Yeah. Like George Michael. Like George Michael. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> freedom. I won't let you down. Freedom. I will ride my yeah. horse. Yeah, so. Freedom. <laughs> no, I, I would say, yeah, because William Wallace, you know, carried out what he had to do. And it was like, freedom. You know, get the people to say, yeah, but it was like freedom. He, he'd done what he had to do. But Gladiator was like, oh. Mm. Just could get he, to he still had shit kid. to do. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He had unfinished business. Yeah, man. Unfinished business. yeah. done him dirty. And that's probably why there's a gladiator too. Let's we'll see what that's going to be all about. Yeah. When yeah. that comes what? out. So, what are you talking about, Willis? Yeah, it's gladiator, gladiator two, two is gladiator soon two on its way. So, 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 who's who's gladiator? Who's got who's? We're all we're all gladiator, right? All yeah. Gladiator. All gladiator. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's gladiator, move on yeah. to the next one. Now, this one's land coming in in 1986 coming in from cybertron this one was oh. a very weird oh. one and why would you do this why would you do a cartoon this cartoon that's so popular this was and the leader. main character what is the, the most f- popular cartoon robot oh. character no fuck that most popular cartoon character the, in action ever. cartoons and you yeah. decide to do this to him and have yeah. the rest of the oh. film going on for another hour and a fucking half Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> he's still he's still feeling this one. This is Transformers the movie, and this is this the death of hurts. Optimus fucking Prime. How the hell are you killing him so early? In his prime. In his prime. <laughs> to, like to carry on the film. Who do we want to see after that? Because I don't remember seeing much exactly. of Jazz, much of uh, Bumblebee. What uh, the what 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 did you do to us? <laughs> this is 1986. Please, don't get over it. We're yet, in our right? prime kid mode. <laughs> like prime, <laughs> we're buying all the toys. We're wearing pimp souls. We buy Mr. Freeze eyes poles. We're prime oh, no. kid so- time, and you kill our hero. But this is the thing. But this yeah. is the thing. They kill both the superstars, Megatron and Prime, mm. because Megatron got turned into Galvatron, didn't it? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. In one slap. Son of a what bitch. are you doing? Yeah, that's messed up. <laughs> How does that make sense? <laughs> oh my god, no! Nah, I'm still hurt. <laughs> Eighty-seven to now, I'm hurt. Yeah, it's because hurts, nine it? out of ten people, well, look, we all love us four sitting here. We all love Transformers, but nine out of ten people can't remember what happened in the middle of that fucking cartoon because <laughs> you were so you were still it's distressed. True. What happened in the middle of it? It's so true. No. You know, he died at the beginning, I and mean, you know, you got the touch was at the end. What do you fucking know? In between that was a grey-looking fucking Optimus Prime. That's all you can see in your head. Yeah, you were traumatized in Isn't the it? middle. Like, like when people talk about Transformers, you'd never talk about Hot Rod. This guy was mm. the star of the film by the end of it. 
Like that, Thank he's you. never been in any yeah. of the films. Yeah, you don't remember yeah, him. You don't. True. Sounds like some futuristic fisherman or exactly. something. Exactly. What the fuck? You gave Hot, Hot Rod the Matrix. <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. Nah. What are you doing? I was upset. Even he was and shocked. And you know because? Yeah, he was. You know because it was a feature length. <laughs> yeah. Movie. Yeah. You said animation. And it was in the cinema. Because that, yeah, was, that rare, was rare, right? It was weird. Transformers yeah, exactly. in the cinema. Yeah, so that, you were like, yeah. Got yeah, to that go. was a kid's dream. Like, he's like, what? A, a feature you remember that? version. A drink, like, like you, all you had was like, I remember there was a Care Bear movie. Yeah. There was a, um, yeah. Care, you know, Care Chris, Chris had My Little Pony. Yeah, yeah, My Little Pony. But, that. <laughs> but, <laughs> but Transformers, out of all the action cartoons, was the only one that had a feature film. Yeah. Like, yeah. A, a film. Yeah. Like, He Man didn't ever. Dolph Lundgren took care of that, but. You know, yeah. there, there wasn't oh. a Dungeons and Dragons long cartoon and all that. No. And, and and you destroy Transformers like that. Yeah, no. yeah. I'm disgusted. That early on as well. Like, you know, at the end, you know, fair enough if you want to... Still shouldn't be killing him off anyway, but to do it, you know, like you say, you can't remember what, what's happening after what? that. And then, like you say, it's, you've got the touch. Yeah. The that hell? Horrible. That was horrible. Horrible, horrible. Although, horrible. Although I did like um, Unicron when he showed up. Yeah, you know what? Galvatron. He could have He could have been in it all day. But he didn't have to kill off Optimus Prime. Yeah. I, I don't care who was else is in it. Just yeah. keep Optimus Prime in it. Yeah, but... And you would have. Do you know what I mean? I'd, anyway, <laughs> it was horrible. It was stupid. Oh, yeah, the cartoon, we all watched it, and it was sad and unexpected. I didn't know. I didn't know it hurt you so bad for so long, mate. <laughs> it was horrible. 1987 till now, mate. Yeah, it was horrible. It's in the top five, man. It's in it's the, the top, top five. five. It definitely man. is. It's definitely it's up there. Top five. 1986. <laughs> they tried to mess us up. Anyway, let's move on. So, coming at number two. Okay, there's another... These are three characters now. And, you know, for different reasons, they were emotional. For different reasons, <laughs> I would say. One was like, you hated him. You hated him when you first saw him. And then by the third time you saw him, oh, no, that's a bit sad. Yeah. Second guy, you saw you saw him all through the first movie, and then he sacrificed himself. And in the third guy, you saw him in the first, the second movie, and the third movie. <laughs> And he died of old age. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Darth Vader, Obi-Wan, and Yoda. Now, Darth Vader. Darth Vader, as I said, he was the villain. He was the villain, yeah. He was the villain. I said you hated him all through verse two. But when 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 the Emperor was trying to kill his son, he weren't having it. He he cut he realized he was Anakin. He realized he had to get out of this tight lever and breathe in a quick. <laughs> And it was all over for him. <laughs> and like his son became strong. It was like, it was like, you know, even though he didn't bring him up, but when the son gets taller than you now, it's like, you can't yeah. hit me no more, dad. I'm going to deal with you. And that's what Luke <laughs> did. That, that <laughs> Vader had to surrender. Yeah. And yeah. it was such, it was such a come down because like through the first two movies and the half, first half of the third movie. You've hated him. You've hated mm. him, but his breathing was so broad and scary. When you heard that mm. breath, you were scared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the time he'd been beaten by Luke, it was like some, it was, it was like yeah, a little yeah. kettle. Yeah. Like some squeaks. <laughs> some squeaks yeah. were coming out of there. And you, and that's <laughs> when I realized I felt sorry. I feel sorry for this guy. Yeah. You know, and even yeah. the music, remember the, the Imperial March. Dun, yeah. dun, dun, dun. If you that listen to sad. it again, it's played by like xylophones by that time. It's like boom, 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 boom. It's true. It's, it's like oh it's, it's all sad <laughs> the man yeah. you were scared of the man who gave you nightmares is now in the arms of his son you know uh, wishing that he wasn't so bad after all wishing he took him to the park wishing he'd been at his sports day <laughs> all in that scene <laughs> running down the sports day yeah. <laughs> using the force to win the daddy's <laughs> egg and spoon race Three legged race. <laughs> <laughs> He's already at the end of all the dads are still dusting. He's the boss. Oh, that's funny. But, um, that I'd love to see. Yeah. He missed all that. He missed his <laughs> son's first recital, all of that. But, um, and it was just sad. You felt sorry for him. And, 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 and what was dark as well? I don't know if you guys noticed this in Return of Jedi. So when he, Luke beats him and the, the Death Star is crumbling, and Luke's holding him to the ship. Remember, 
all these people work for Darth Vader. He's the most feared man. They did run in part. Oh, fuck, fuck him. Yeah. I worried yeah, about were, myself. Yeah. <laughs> what? I did think that at the time. I did think that at the <laughs> this time. This is Darth Vader. This is yeah. the guy that pays your wages. This is the guy. I never clocked that, you know. Yeah. Nobody wanted to help him. This is guys. This Every man for him, every man for himself. Everyone did. Oh, 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 oh. Every stormtrooper for himself. Every stormtrooper yeah. for himself. Oh, Everyone's just running past him. You know. <laughs> anyway, so, so yeah, that was that. That was that was a hard screen puller, and it was so confusing because because it was it was a green cross code man when he ain't got the mask on. It was James L. Jones when he's talking, and then it was some Shakespearean actor when he got his mask off. So. That was a strange one, but hey, you had to go with it. Three characters in one. Three characters in one. So that's that's Darth Vader. Sad death. You hated him, then you felt sorry. Next, this guy said he'll be, what's a quote? I'll be stronger than you can ever possibly imagine. Yeah, strike me down. Yeah. In yeah. Star Wars. Um, that was Obi-Wan Kenobi when he fought Vader. Mm. So the force could be stronger with Luke. How did that hit you guys? As a kid. This was quite sad, considering yeah, you only uh, knew that him. That didn't hit me at all. You didn't know him for that long. It still felt. I, no, I felt sorry, like for, for Luke. So I felt. I felt sad when he when mm. Obi Wan died. Plus, because he's nah. an old man, I felt. Mm. I got it. Mm. I got it. I, I understood it. So I didn't um, think. Oh man, mm. do you know what I mean? I, I understood. Yeah. When he looked at Luke, as young as I was. I understood. Mm. Yeah, no, no, no. He I, 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 I get what you saying, but I was going to yeah, say that, that too. too. Because he was an old character, Yeah, I thought, okay, mm. that's yeah. what happens. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And, yeah. You know, he wasn't acrobatic and stuff. He would just mm. move his way to the end a bit and stuff. So I thought, he's not really <laughs> used to the movie. Give the young boy the lightsaber, <laughs> let him carry it. That's the first lightsaber scene you fight you're seeing in, in, in yeah, Star Wars, and, isn't it? Yeah, first and he time wasn't, he wasn't too agile. I didn't want to see another movie with him. Nah. This is what I'm saying, man. <laughs> Alec Guinness, move out of the way, man. Yeah. The youngest. Yeah. But, oh, but it's man. so it's, just it, understood. It's so funny that he died in the first one, but he's still in them. He's in everyone. It, yeah, it yeah, feels yeah, like he's he in them. He was just there yeah. to, you know, advise. He was there yeah. still. Do you know what I mean? So the spirit. So I, I always yeah, thought, like you know, at that start of the movie, I always thought he's gonna Luke's he's gonna become Luke's teacher. Yeah, at, at, you know, before you know everything he's I gonna, just assumed yeah, yeah, he was yeah. going to teach Luke yeah. so I, yeah. I think that's another reason I was sad that, 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 he, that he yeah it's like how's he going to learn yeah but there was some there was some major change there in the film so have you ever heard how he was meant to have died no, no. he, 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 he was, was going to get eaten no he's meant to it was a, it's the same scene but Darth Vader was meant to cut him in half from head to toe straight, and you saw him getting sliced in half but samurai style like samurai mm. style yeah mm. and it, it was written in, in, in the book version and there was uh, there was also talk, talk. They did film a version like that, but for some reason that all got changed. Some reason it, it's, it's it's rated U. That's that's the reason. I <laughs> say yeah, it, it would have made the film a lot darker, man. But yeah. So and then lastly, it was the Jedi Master himself. He was tired. He was old. He was three foot tall, and he had enough of Luke asking about his family. <laughs> So he died. <laughs> so he died. I'm sorry, this was comical. This is comedy <laughs> oh, gold for me. And that's Yoda mm. from Return of the Jedi. Because he was 900 years old. I I, I yeah. got it. He had a good inning. We were ready for it, like. So, what what pull, what pulled your heartstrings more, guys? Yoda, Darth, Darth Vader, Vader, or Ben? Lord Vader, not Darth Vader. Lord, okay, Lord Vader. Vader. Obi Wan Kenobi or Master Yoda? I'm going to go Obi Wan. No, Lord Vader. I'm going to go Obi Wan as well. Yeah. Why are you going OB one? The other two, I was it's the scenario, isn't it? It's yeah, they knew the it was coming. The guy was about two hundred and one. <laughs> I no. liked him in the first one when he first met him. <laughs> no, I him man, I'm going Dust. for Darth Vader, man. That was the, it exactly was like the music. Lord Vader. It felt sorry for him. He was <laughs> exactly, man. That was like seeing the end of Snowfall. If you guys ain't seen it, but yeah, <laughs> it was horrible. All right, so so two of us, Ben Kenobi, two, two of us, two Darth of Vader. Vader. Yeah. No love for you. I don't understand the Ben Kenobi one. I, nah, man. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't well, understand he like, it. He was like his sort of father figure when he found yeah. him. And I, thought, I sort of... Yeah, man. That was all for like 13 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's you know true. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, I didn't care. Leave it. Pass it over to the new hope. Yeah. So, done. Our last, our last and final saddest old school movie death has come in the form in boxing it was in 1995 
the King of Sting. <laughs> <laughs> the Count of Monte Fisto. The Count of Monte Fisto. Known anywhere in the civilized world. <laughs> God, I feel born again. Um, yeah, he 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 went he he was retired, and he went back into boxing just for one more shot one for more an shot. exhibition it was an <laughs> exhibition because a new guy on the block a new guy from the on the block was in town and he was strong mm. he was tall he was russian and anything he hits he destroys and apollo creed wanted to test himself but i think even rocky was retired too yeah I think so, was, so yeah. apollo was retired retired yeah and yeah. but he weren't tired and he wanted to fight this new cat on the block james brown came out brilliant introduction he had on his old school rocky one arms on he was yeah. he was uncle it's sam again he was <laughs> he was singing you know it was all it was all going off and when the bell rang it was all over put your hands up it's time to go to school yeah from when you couldn't move his fists uh, that's when you should have threw in the towel yeah <laughs> i um, must break you so yeah we're talking about the yeah. death of apollo creed apollo. in rocky four Ooh. Uh, you know what? You know me already. You know I'm not a big Rocky fan. <laughs> this was deep, you know. <laughs> it was deep. Because <laughs> it, right? it went Rocky. <laughs> I don't like Rocky, but like watching that was, was I was like, oh man. Yeah. And the thing is, like the thing it's an exhibition is... show, man. Come on, it's, it's supposed an exhibition to be show. an exhibition. You didn't have to hit him that hard. <laughs> you know what I mean? Did, did you guys know he died in it before you went to cinema? I was just about to ask you that. But I don't, I don't I think we did. I don't think we did. I don't think we did. We heard some. I, I, no. I think it was a big shock, like when we kids saw. Kids in my school. Kids in my school. Um, they were so they you know, fascinated by it. I think someone went to Canada, and come back. Told and everyone. Said, yeah, and told oh. everyone. So you knew what was going to happen. Yeah. Unlucky for you. Because, I don't think because, we did because there was obviously there's no social media and we went to see the film the day it came out yeah I don't think we so, did so I had this as a question to ask you do you remember hearing that this was going to happen so I don't think we did I don't think we did yeah. but I, I heard I think yeah. after the big James Brown opening and all of that like it was shocking like it was like we weren't ready for that I'm well, sure we didn't know about it it was quite shocking yeah. it was man it was and, it, and it, you know even a lot of people have credited Carl Weathers for his acting because of the little shakes and Shake. limps he done you know he mm -hmm. said like that was sort of improvised he, he goes what I thought is when I hit the canvas Apollo's such a fighter he'll still be trying to fight so he goes mm -hmm. I just sort of pretended I was sort of like hitting mm -hmm. the canvas sort of thing but it, yeah I think that made it work like you know 10 times worse for the viewer you're like shit yeah. man he's in like yeah. he's and gone the whole the whole, the whole direction of that scene with the cameras going mad and the yeah. commentators going on yeah. and, and the music and so an another thing they said as well because the way he acted the actual real on set medics actually ran in thinking shit he's actually hit him and killed him, like hurt him put him in a in mm. a fit or something so the 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 behind yeah. the scenes medics run out as well. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. some damn good acting. Good acting, man. Yeah, it was, it was good, acting. good acting, man. It was good acting. Yeah, if he well, dies, yeah. he dies. And everybody remembers that quote. Like, yeah. fuck him, mm. basically. If he dies. dies, he dies. Yeah. What really hurt me as well is when Rocky goes for that drive and there's no easy way yeah. out and he's replaying, he's replaying the all clips. Because yeah. he feels guilty. He, was, he should have chucked the towel. It's like... Apollo's really dead. <laughs> yeah, it really hit you then. Yeah, it hit, you then. No yeah. Easy it hit way me out. then. There's, yeah. there's no Short easy way time. out. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't, yeah. You know, that's one of my dream tracks. Is it? Yeah, that's yeah. A anyway. Yeah. If you like yeah. that yeah. sound, you'd like Top Gun soundtrack if you like that soundtrack. <laughs> Yeah. You just got you just got to oh, flick that tube. Well, no, I, I, I ain't buying it. We ain't, we ain't buying that. Gun, but what but what peed, but what 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 peed me off later on in that film is that you know the basis was look revenge for my friend. You know it's not on what you did, but then they started hugging each other. What about yeah, what about yeah. Apollo? If I could change, I could change. change. We could change. We could change. Like, like, like <laughs> what? You got a short memory. Yeah, you got a short. What are you doing? What do you mean? I was already vexed because you're not fighting for money, and it's on yeah, Christmas that. Day. You killed your friend in the ring, and you're talking about change. <laughs> Have you forgotten about your friend? Yeah. He used to run on the sand movie. The reason you're doing yeah, this, man. the reason you're fighting here, and gave you Jackass. the Isle of Tiger. You you're idiot. Piss. That's what I'm saying, you <laughs> fool. Yeah. 
Yeah. And that's another reason I don't like Rocky. Yeah, <laughs> 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 All right, so that yeah, that that is our that is our saddest podcast. Yeah, <laughs> isn't it? first outing of our saddest <laughs> movie deaths. Um, you know, we got we got we got to get the Kleenex out and wipe a few tears. <laughs> we think about doing a second one. <laughs> There's lots of sad films, but our, our top ten of the the hearts. Chris, thanks for wrapping it up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> make for an extra long outro. <laughs> no, that was good. That was good. Yeah, because we could went on for ages. There was ten more just ran into my head, but we'll save it for another podcast <laughs> for the next sad podcast. So yeah, guys, thanks for listening again. Um, as I said, it's the saddest podcast we've done, but these things happened. These movies pulled our heartstrings. They made us think twice about feeling the heat behind us, getting lottery tickets, catching the train, or running too fast for the train. Or doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> Is this another way of getting you ready in real life for when this sort of these things so? happen? I don't know, because as we were saying, as we've said amongst ourselves before, it's like the 80s desensitized us to death and yeah. explosions yeah. everything we watched everybody had a gun remember we come from the generation i know james bond started in the 60s but by the time it that got to us every film every hero has had a wisecrack before they killed someone yeah, yeah. so yeah. it Made became it like i'll yeah. make a joke and and ruin yeah. your whole family yeah. <laughs> yeah. i'll make a joke <laughs> and shoot you and it was like every action hero did that yeah, yeah. stick around anyway Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> thanks for listening. My name's Mr. Lucas. I'm Chris. I'm Stax. And I'm the last dragon. Peace out. Thank you so much, guys. Keep supporting and we'll be back very soon. Till next time. Touche away. <laughs> <laughs>